Alhamdulillah, uh, I always thank God uh, for being here uh, to represent uh, this wonderful team, uh, Musanze FC. Uh, since I arrived here, everything has been very, very fantastic for me. Everything has been going well. Um, I feel like I'm home <coughs> and the entire team, everybody support me. They have supported me, they have shown me that uh, they, we are family, despite uh, coming from another country. Uh, I came here um, to represent Muzanze and uh, to take the status of Muzanze higher. Uh, that's my uh, objectives. Uh, so far, everything is going fine with me here. Everybody asks me about that uh, since I moved here. Uh, the noise was too much in Gambia, Senegal, in other countries like Nigeria. Uh, because um, I was having a lot of deals like uh, going to Enyimba and uh, going to Aqua and both teams, uh, they play in CAF Champions League, they were about to go to CAF Champions League. Also in a Cotonou, a club, uh, Cotonou, Cotonou, Cotonou club, uh, also they were going to uh, CAF Champions League. Uh, if you see like, uh, I have been in Cameroon, um, I have been there for one month, two months. Also, I play in uh, Nigeria for two years. That was the reason I don't want to go back there. I want a new challenge. I say maybe when Rwanda came, <coughs> when Muzanze came to approach me, uh, despite now coming here, maybe most of, most of the people think that it's salary-wise, but not salary. <coughs> there is nothing like salary, because uh, what the other teams offer me is maybe five times, six times more than what Muzanze is paying me. But uh, I just want to come here and make my name, also represent the Muzanze FC, uh, take the club's level to higher, higher level. Uh, that's my objective, uh, but not like uh, coming here. Most people ask me this. Most of the journalists ask me why I choose Muzanze. I choose Muzanze because I want a new challenge, and I had the new challenge here. So when I came, at least uh, uh, to boost the team's names up, like. Uh, uh, example like last season going to the AFCON, being the only player in Rwanda, going to participate in the AFCON, that's a big thing for Muzanze. Everybody knows Muzanze when you are representing your country uh, to the CAF or international level, everybody knows that the journalists, everybody is Muzanze, Muzanze. So which country is from Muzanze, they Google and see that it's, uh, it's a Rwandese team. So it's another, another thing for, uh, for the team. Uh, that's my, that was my, my main, main purpose coming here, yeah. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a good thing, it was so great, but it, emotionally, it was, uh, I feel like uh, I was not representing only Gambia. I was representing Rwanda, I was representing Mozambique. I was representing this district. Uh, because whenever they name my name, they call Mozambique FC. Whenever they call my name, they name Rwanda, Muzanze. So I was not only representing my country, Gambia, or my family, but I was, I was um, um, uh, representing the whole Muzanze, the city of Muzanze. A lot of people know Muzanze in Gambia uh, because of me. Um, it was great. It was great experience uh, going as the only player in Rwanda to participate in the Afcon. But hopefully, this uh, this 25-25 Afcon, uh, hopefully uh, we'll see we see a lot of countries. Maybe even Rwanda have a chance to qualify it, and other countries. So we hopefully uh, uh, it will happen, and also it will help the league uh, because a league to advance in high. You need to have experienced players, you understand, that has name, that has made their name uh, in the highest level uh, so that the league can develop. If you hear the league is good, if you hear the league is good, they are having too much national team players. Like if you go to other countries like Morocco, most of their national team players, they are playing in Morocco. If you go to Algeria, it's the same, um, Egypt, the same. So it's very important to have like national team players playing in the league here and they are representing their countries in the highest level, especially in the international level. It's very good for the football of uh, Rwanda. So I'm expecting that um, it will happen this the next year. Yeah, that's, uh, that reason uh, is known by the coach, uh, 
Uh, before even uh, the international level, I was uh, having a fracture before we start. It's almost two months, two months plus now. So I think it's also good to take a break and, uh, and concentrate on my recovery. Uh, that's the most important thing right now. Uh, I'm in Mozambique right now. I have to concentrate with the club and my, my, my recovery of my injury. That's my purpose now. <coughs> Whatever will happen next year, or oh, the following months, uh, only God knows. Yeah. yeah, now everything is going well because uh, last time, uh, two weeks, three weeks ago, I made this um, extra. Uh, things are getting better now. Um, this week, I have started training with them, but I'm not uh, taking it uh, intense. But I'm working with them slowly, slowly. Uh, we, I will get there. Uh, maybe in two weeks' time, maybe I can start training, but not intense. But I can join the team. To work with the goalkeepers, then I can go out. So I have started that. So I'm feeling like uh, better now. Maybe it's the weather that is not favorable because sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. So uh, that's why sometimes uh, I will feel like I'm okay. But sometimes when it's cold, I can get some, uh, some small pains, but um, everything is fine right now. Uh, since my arrival here, um, uh, my first game, <coughs> My first game uh, was APR when we went to Kigali. Uh, when I see the atmosphere, I see different things. I have learned different things, you understand? Because every country has your own culture. Uh, every country has your co own culture <coughs> and your own style of football. You understand? I saw here in Rwanda, they like football. Yeah. They, they want football, they love it, <coughs> they have the passion. And uh, you can see they have good teams here. Yeah? They have good teams. Uh, the likes of Marine, if you are playing with them, you know they knock ball, Rayon Sport, APS, police. And you have a lot of foreigners in the league. <coughs> you have Nigerians, you have Ghanaians. Uh, that shows that the league is good. <coughs> Any league in the world, if you see foreigners, they are dominating. You understand? You can see that the league is good. If you see England, um, they have more foreigners in their league. You see clubs like Arsenal, maybe two or three English players, they start. You go to City, only two England players, they start. So it means that they, are, they have competition because of foreigners, you understand? When the foreigners are many in anywhere, in any league, you see experience because if you, play, if you bring a player from Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria, Cameroon, they are, surfing, they are putting their experience, you understand? It's different style of football. Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, it's different style. So this one come with Cameroon, this one come with Nigeria, this one come with Senegal, Gambia. So you mix those ones, you see the league. It will be very competitive. It makes the league, to, 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 to people to enjoy to watch it. You understand? So I'm very, very sure in the next two years, you will see that um, Rwandese club, they can participate in the CAF Champions League because that's what's left now. If you want your football to go up, you have to, you have to participate in the CAF, you understand? Uh, it's like two times APR, they are trying, but they are not coming, they are not coming up. It's also good because if APR go to club in the group stages, next season, the, the winner of the cup and the winner of the league, you have two representatives for Rwanda in the CAF. So it's very important. So the more your club, the club does well, the more you have more representatives in the in the CAF Champions League. And it's also good for the football. Because when you qualify for CAF club group stage, at least like CAF can give like three hundred thousand dollars for preparation. So it's also good for the economy of the country. You understand? So then people will even the agents will be eyeing on Rwanda. They say, yeah, we watch them in the CAF. They have good teams. Scouts will come. It's invite scouts. That's how football grow. Because football now is the fastest thing in the world in any economic, in development of the country, is football. You understand? If you have more footballers outside, they're working. When they pay them $10,000, $15,000, it's how much here? In Rwanda, it's a lot of millions. They come, they build house here. It's development. Brazil is one of the poorest countries in the world. But the country is very, very developed because of football. So I think like the Rwandan, Rwandese football is going in the right direction. Thank you.